3D printer, you start stumbling onto ideas just in daily life. We've got so many of these bowls in the kitchen that we were emptying out leftovers and putting them in Tupperware containers that I thought a 3D printed lid might be easier, might make sense. So print up a bunch of these leftovers from meals, just cap them and put that in the fridge and you're good to go. As far as PLA, of course, you can't really microwave with it because it'll melt. But for storage, it's kind of a quick, easy thing to do. And this holds tight. One of the interesting things, the 3D printer that I made is not perfectly square. So what that kind of lets you do is the circle is not perfect. So it can go on there and kind of lock a little bit. But easy project. I'll upload the STL on Thingiverse. So if anybody wants to make these, please do so. This is 164 millimeters. I tried several of these until we got to the right size. So we started at 160, then 163. 163 was really tight. 165 was a little bit too big. And it doesn't, doesn't hold it. And 164 is right on the money. Quick, easy project. Fun to do. The SolSilva CNC machine is still in progress. We're moving forward. The rails have been attached, and these are nice and loose so they can be adjusted. The next step on this is to cut some brackets out for the stepper motors. And I'm changing the design a little bit from the plans. Instead of one stepper motor with belts and, and some gears, we're going to use a stepper motor on each side and then slave those to the Toshiba board. Right now, this is just a piece of plywood that I cut on the small CNC to hold the stepper here. I wanted to see how that looked and how that, how that held. So my plans are to use some real heavy three-quarter inch ply in basically the same shape for either side. So moving forward on this, and we'll go from there.